Unfortunately, there is no permanent cure for Parkinson's disease at this stage. However, there are many different treatment options available which can help reduce the symptoms of Parkinson's disease and improve the quality of life of patients. Medications are the mainstay of treatment of Parkinson's disease. Physiotherapy and speech therapy are also helpful when used along with medications. Carefully selected patients may benefit from surgery as well. The treatment of Parkinson's disease may vary from person to person and depends upon a number of factors. It is important to keep in mind that these drugs may not stop the progression of disease. However, they will reduce the symptoms of Parkinson's disease so you are better able to carry out your daily activities. The medication used for Parkinson's disease may have some side effects as well. The medications must only be used as instructed by your physician. You should not adjust the dosage of your medication without the advice of your physician. A summary of the medications used for Parkinson's disease will be discussed shortly, but you should strictly follow the plan made by your neurologist about your condition. The commonly used medications for Parkinson's disease include amantadine, monoamine B oxidase inhibitors including rezagiline and salagiline, dopamine agonists including premipaxol and rupinarol, levodopa, antacapone, and anticholinergic medications. Amantadine is started at a dose of 100 mg once daily and the dose is slowly increased to 100 mg three times daily. The side effects of this medication include leg swelling, visual hallucination, and levido reticularis, which is a web-like rash on legs and arms. Rezagiline, which is a monoamine B oxidase inhibitor, is started at a dose of 0.5 mg once daily. The dose may be increased to 1 mg once daily. The side effects of this medication include joint problems, flu-like illness, exacerbation of side effects of levodopa when used in conjunction with levodopa. Salagiline is also a monoamine B oxidase inhibitor which is started at a dose of 5 mg once daily and slowly increased to 5 mg twice daily. The, the last dose of this medication should not be taken later than afternoon. If the last dose of this medication is taken in the evening, it may cause trouble falling asleep. Salagiline may exacerbate the side effects of levodopa when used in conjunction with levodopa. Premipaxol is a dopamine agonist which is usually started at a dose of 0.1 to 5 mg three times daily. The dose is increased at weekly intervals. The maximum daily dose is 1.5 mg three times daily. The side effects of this medication may include sudden onset of sleepiness, behavioral problems such as compulsive eating, gambling, shopping, hypersexuality, visual hallucinations and leg swelling. Rupinarol is the other dopamine agonist which is usually started at a dose of 0.25 mg three times daily. Dose is increased at weekly intervals to a maximum dose of 8 mg three times daily. The side effects of Rupinarol are similar to Premipaxol. Levodopa is usually started at a dose of 100 over 25 mg. The dose is slowly increased to 300 mg to 2000 mg, which can be divided up to many times a day. The side effects of this medication include dizziness, nausea, vivid dreaming, and sleepiness. There is a controlled release formulation of leaf dopa available as well. Antacapone is started at a dose of 200 mg with each dose of leaf dopa. The maximum daily dose is up to 1600 mg daily. Antacapone can only be used with leaf dopa. 
and pack up won't may cause brown discoloration of urine, diarrhea, and exacerbation of side effects of levodopa. Anticholinergic medications include trihexyphenidyl, which is started at a dose of 1 mg once daily. The dose may be increased up to 5 mg three times daily. The side effects of this medication include cognitive dysfunction, dry mouth, urinary problems, constipation, visual problems, and confusion. The medications for Parkinson's disease should be taken at a fixed time every day and in right dosage as instructed by your physician. You should discuss the efficacy and side effects of these medications with your physician at regular follow-up visits. You should use the same pharmacy consistently so that they have a record of your medication history. There will be a less of a chance that you will buy a prescription free product that may interfere with your drug treatment if you use the same pharmacy consistently. You should always try to drink a glass of water with each dose of your medications. This will help to absorb the medication better. You should swallow the controlled release formulation of tablets without chewing them. In this way, the contents of the medication will be able to reach their target destination more efficiently. This information is provided only for educational purposes and should not be taken as a substitute for the medical care and the advice provided by your physician.